The development of the world's first logical quantum processor marks a significant milestone in the advancement of reliable quantum computing. Greetings and salutations to everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing the remarkable achievement of Harvard University scientists who have successfully developed a programmable quantum processor with advanced logical capabilities. This groundbreaking system can encode a staggering 48 logical qubits and carry out numerous logical gate operations. It represents a significant milestone in the field of quantum computing as it showcases the first instance of executing complex algorithms on an error-corrected quantum computer. This remarkable progress is a result of years of dedicated research on the neutral atom array quantum computing architecture. Moving forward, the team aims to expand the range of operations performed on their 48 logical qubits and establish continuous operation of their system. Without any further delay, let us delve into our discussion. In the pursuit of stable and scalable quantum computing, a significant breakthrough has been achieved by a team from Harvard. They have successfully developed a logical quantum processor that is programmable, marking a crucial milestone. This processor has the capability to encode an impressive 48 logical qubits and perform numerous logical gate operations. Notably, this system represents the first instance of executing complex algorithms on an error-corrected quantum computer, signalling the exciting emergence of early fault-tolerant quantum computation that can be relied upon without interruption. A qubit, which stands for quantum bit, is the fundamental unit of information in the realm of quantum computing, similar to a binary bit in classical computing. For over 20 years, scientists and engineers have demonstrated the theoretical feasibility of quantum computing by manipulating quantum particles such as atoms, ions or photons to generate tangible qubits. Harnessing the potential of quantum mechanics for computation is a complex endeavour that goes beyond the mere accumulation of a sufficient quantity of physical qubits, as these qubits are inherently unstable and susceptible to collapsing from their quantum states. Logical qubits, the true currency in the realm of practical quantum computing, consist of clusters of redundant, error-corrected physical qubits that serve as repositories for information utilised in quantum algorithms. The ability to create controllable logical qubits, similar to classical bits, has long been a major hurdle in the field. It is widely acknowledged that the advancement of quantum technologies hinges on the ability of quantum computers to reliably operate on logical qubits. Thus far, the most impressive computing systems have only managed to showcase one or two logical qubits, along with a solitary quantum gate operation which can be likened to a single unit of code connecting them. Under the leadership of Mikhail Lukin, the Joshua and Beth Friedman University Professor in Physics and co-director of the Harvard Quantum Initiative, a team from Harvard University has achieved a significant breakthrough in the pursuit of stable and scalable quantum computing. In a groundbreaking achievement, the team has successfully developed a programmable and logical quantum processor. With the capacity to encode up to 48 logical qubits and perform numerous logical gate operations, this remarkable accomplishment marks the first instance of executing complex algorithms on an error-corrected quantum computer on a large scale, signalling the dawn of early fault-tolerant quantum computation that is both reliable and uninterrupted. The research, which was published in the prestigious scientific journal Nature, was a collaborative effort involving Marcus Greiner, a distinguished professor of physics at Harvard University, as well as researchers from MIT and Quera Computing, a Boston-based company that originated from Harvard Laboratories. Harvard's Office of Technology Development recently forged a licensing agreement with Quera, granting them access to a patent portfolio that encompasses the groundbreaking advancements achieved by Lukin's team. Lukin compared this achievement to a potential turning point similar to the early stages of artificial intelligence, where the concepts of quantum error correction and fault tolerance, previously only theoretical, are now beginning to yield tangible results. Lukin expressed his belief that the current moment signifies the impending arrival of something truly extraordinary. Despite the obstacles that lie ahead, there is a strong anticipation that this latest breakthrough will significantly expedite the development of practical, widespread quantum computers. Quera, 
a company that is currently commercializing the neutral atom array architecture developed in Lukin's lab, has made a significant breakthrough in quantum computing. This breakthrough is the result of years of research and experimentation. The foundation of the system is a cluster of extremely cold rubidium atoms that are suspended in mid-air. These atoms, known as physical qubits, have the ability to move freely and can be linked together or entangled during the computation process. The entangled pairs of atoms create gates, which are the building blocks of computational power. The team has previously demonstrated the high reliability of their neutral atom array system by achieving low error rates in their entangling operations. Denise Caldwell, the Acting Assistant Director of the National Science Foundation's Mathematical and Physical Sciences Directorate, expressed her admiration for the groundbreaking achievement in quantum engineering and design. The research, backed by the NSF's Physics Frontiers Centers and Quantum Leap Challenge Institute's programs, has not only expedited the progress of quantum information processing through the utilization of neutral atoms, but has also unveiled a fresh avenue for investigating the potential of large-scale logical qubit devices. These advancements hold the promise of bringing about revolutionary advancements in both the scientific and societal realms. Using lasers, the researchers have achieved a breakthrough in quantum computing by demonstrating the parallel and multiplexed control of a whole cluster of logical qubits with their advanced quantum processor. This innovative approach proves to be significantly more efficient and scalable compared to the traditional method of controlling individual physical qubits. In our efforts to push the boundaries of the field, we aim to shift towards testing algorithms using error-corrected qubits rather than physical ones, thereby paving the way for the development of larger devices, explained Dolev Blufstein, the primary author of the research paper and a PhD student at the Griffin School of Arts and Sciences, working in Lukin's laboratory. The team's ongoing efforts involve expanding the range of operations performed on their 48 logical qubits, as well as transitioning their system from its current manual cycling to a continuous running configuration. Funding for the project was provided by various organisations, including the Defence Advanced Research Projects Agency, through their programme on optimization with noisy intermediate scale quantum devices, the Centre for Ultracold Atoms, a Physics Frontiers Centre supported by the National Science Foundation, the Army Research Office and Quera Computing. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.